Hey guys, welcome back to more Crypt of the Necrodancer. Now, I am going to show off the other characters in the game eventually, but before I do that, I want to beat Hardcore Mode or the, with the Daily Challenge at least once, just to show it off and, you know, be able to prove that I can do it. <laughs> Not sure. But let's just jump right in with today's Daily Challenge. It is October 3rd, 2014. Oh, this is actually, this is actually the one for October 4th because because of time zones, but let's just see what we can do. Alright, so jumping right in, back to zone 1-1. None of those items are really useful. Obsidian shovel might come in handy, but it's kind of expensive, so I'm going to hold off on it for now. Hello, skeleton. Alright, so I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't played in a few days, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Thank you. Now this little shrine looking thing right here, that is called a Shrine of Sacrifice. If you either kill five enemies in one of the four adjacent squares to it, or you kill a mini boss in one of the four adjacent squares to it, then it will activate and it will give you a choice of a couple good items. Personally, it's a lot more trouble than it's worth, in my opinion. Also I heard one of those little ghost dudes, the red, the red guys, hello? Hi. He seemed friendly. Alright, let's see, this is the boss, right? Yeah, there we go, we got ourselves a Minotaur. Hi. Bam. Alright, that takes care of the boss. Black Skeleton, goodbye. He just goes careening off into space. I find it very funny that when you hit the Skeletons so that they're within one, of, uh, one heart of death, they just kind of start moving in a direction and never stop moving in that direction for the rest of their lives. What a beautiful existence. Alright, let's look for some hidden rooms. Sometimes it's a good idea to just dig around randomly and see if you can find something hidden. In this case, I didn't find anything. Uh, you do know that when you hit the darker gray blocks, those are a definite boundary. You cannot break through those ever, and they represent the farthest reaches of the map. Oh god. Lots of bats. Come on. Alright. Cleared them all out. <laughs> Nothing else in here, but it's a good way to get some money. Alright, that's pretty much it for this floor. On to number two. Starting this out with money. What a great way to begin the day. Or the floor. Let's see. Weapon, please? Okay, golden whip. I can deal with this. Golden weapons are very good because they give you the more money. And the more money is always a good type of money to have. Hello. Shoot! Okay. That was poor planning on my part. <laughs> Dang it. Alright. Yeah, when you're fighting the Red Dragons, it's always a good idea to have an exit strategy. That was an example of a tricky spot to be in. And I, what I should have done is backed out of there as quickly as possible. However, that's not what I did, and for that I suffered. Anyway, back to the lobby. Hopefully next Daily Challenge will give us more success. Until then, Hardcore Mode will be our destiny. See you guys next time.